Hi, my name is Kelly Zimba. I am the principal flute of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, and this is my first year playing in the TSO. Hi, my name is Heidi Van Husen Gorton, and I'm the principal harpist of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. I joined in 2011, so that makes this my seventh season with the orchestra. The first time I met Peter was actually in my audition, and then he came to a New World in Miami to conduct a concert, and I met him again a couple of months later to play with the orchestra here, and that's when I really got to work with him on a more consistent basis for that week. Yeah. The first time I met him, I think I must have been nine or ten years old. Both of my parents play in the Pittsburgh Symphony, as you know, as a fellow mm -hmm. Pittsburgher. Uh, so he was conducting a concert and my parents brought me backstage, as they often did. I never imagined in a million years that I would end up working with him conceivably for the rest of my life. He, he's done just such an amazing job of putting together a fabulous orchestra musically and also personally. He is a, a wonderful builder and he's really created this fantastic community and family in the Toronto Symphony, which extends out to the Toronto community. I definitely agree. I think, you know, the first day I got here, you know, I could feel that family atmosphere within the orchestra, like, right away. It's hard for me to picture a time with him not smiling. Like, he's just always so, so warm and has been so welcoming to me over the last seven years. Hi, I'm Shane Kim and I'm a violinist in the Toronto Symphony. I've been with the orchestra since 2012. And my name is Jonathan Crow, and I'm the concertmaster of the Toronto Symphony, and I joined in 2011. Peter really shaped the orchestra uh, to his sound, and that was mainly through the kind of hiring that he did um, during his time here. I think in the 14 seasons that he's been here, uh, Peter's hired about 40% of the orchestra. And a lot of those hires, uh, you know, for example, hiring Jonathan as, uh, as concertmaster, have really had a massive impact on the, on the quality of the orchestra. I think one of the great things that we got in the Toronto Symphony was him bringing that cachet to us. Like you said, we did two major European tours, went to Israel for the first time with Peter. And, you know, everything, they brought new ideas, the TSO Live, you know, the TSO Soundcheck program under his kind of direction, just putting us back on the international stage. And I, I can't think of a music director in the orchestra, or even one really in the last 14 years around the world that has made such a difference mm -hmm. to the orchestra that he or she has conducted. That, that's kind of a quality that uh, Peter has brought to his music directorship mm. here with uh, the Toronto Symphony. It's like he's never really settling. Right. And even in his last season as music director, I feel like he just keeps right till the very end. I think that's something we all love about Peter is that he demands from us what he himself brought to his career. The idea that every single concert that we put on stage, there's somebody in the audience who might be there for the first time. There's yeah. somebody who's getting to hear this music for the first time and this might be the performance that causes them yeah, right. to fall in love with the symphony or fall in love with music or just in a way come back over and over. It's been great for the orchestra. Yeah. Thank you so much for supporting the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. It's uh, an incredible privilege to play great music for the city of Toronto and for, for Canada. Thank you for everything you have done for the Toronto Symphony Orchestra and thank you especially in this, Peter's last year, for supporting Peter and everything that he has brought to the orchestra. We wouldn't be where we are without his great 14 years. Thank you so much for your generous support. Uh, without you, we would not be sharing classical music with the Greater Toronto Community. We honestly can't thank you enough for your support of our orchestra and our art and what we do. We know that it would not be possible without such generous patrons like yourself.